Hey everybody, it's Dave Dugdale, learningvideo.com. So I got a quick tip and a quick question on Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2015. So this is Lightroom, made by Adobe. This is Premiere Pro Color Tab in Premiere Pro, the new Premiere Pro 2015. They look very similar. And maybe the engineers got together and said, hey, let's make them similar, it'd be cool. And it is great. I'm a Lightroom user, so this is great. So let me show the tip. So this is maybe frustrated some people and they haven't figured out yet. It took me, I don't know, 10 minutes to figure this out. Maybe I'm just stupid and I couldn't figure it out, but maybe other people are in the same boat. Now I'm not saying you guys are stupid, but I'm just saying that you're a little frustrated and you couldn't figure this out. So if I double click on contrast, you'll see it resets back to zero. Um, I can play around with it. It's like, oh, maybe I've gone too far and maybe I'll reset it. Uh, if I double click anywhere on the um, graph itself, it just is absolute, it goes right to there. Now let's say I go over here, I can actually put the number zero in and do it that way. But um, let's slide this off the screen. Now, if I increase the contrast here on this shot, which kind of needs some contrast and add some saturation back in, maybe I'll find a nice happy spot to it. And I'm like, you know, let's reset that, start over. Double click on contrast and like, hey, what? What's going on? Won't reset. I'll right click because I'm a Windows user. Hey, nothing there. I can go over here and actually type it in. That's a two step process. That's a pain in the butt. So, what I've learned is, is you have to actually, you can't just right click on the here, nothing's gonna happen. You have to double click anywhere on the slider, including the actual um, indication itself where it is. Double click anywhere, and that resets it. Come on, Adobe. Uh, that's your tip, but my rant is, make these two similar. Come on, your two engineering groups should talk to each other and say, hey, let's make this experience good for everybody. My next question is, is watch this. So you've got real-time updating on this um, um, clip that we're on. It's actually called the rename, which is the sequence on. I never renamed it for this particular video I worked on. And this is shot with the A7S. So I can increase the contrast and get it to where I want it to be. That is awesome. And you'll notice that it's updating in real time, both the scopes and that are updating. So let's say I go to the master clip for this and we'll turn the scopes back on again and you'll see that everything's reset. Um, so now I'm making global changes on the master. Well, there's only one of this instance of this clip on the timeline, so it's not that big of a deal for me between the two. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the contrast. I'm gonna start moving around and, and like, wait, this is weird. The scopes are moving, but the image isn't. So that's not very consistent. I don't know why they've done this this way. You have to release the mouse and like, oh, there's the contrast or, release the mouse and oh there's the contrast change so that's really odd so if you're gonna want to see real-time changes my tip here is keep within the uh, not the master but I guess the clip property for that particular one so now comes my question quick question if anybody knows this um, and has figured this out in speed grade if I made a whole bunch of changes let's say I brought down the highlights bring out the shadows a little bit because there's no pivot slider in contrast anymore so I'm trying to figure out how the best way to add, you know, the pivot point of contrast. And I'm guessing the only way too is just changing these two will kind of give you that pivot point where the contrast is being applied. Um, so let's say I've added a little bit of saturation there and I go down here and I'm like, you know, let's uh, make the water a little bit more um, cyan. And if I bring the cyan in a little bit, See, I'm going off the charts here a little bit on the the vector scope, but just for demonstration purposes. So make I'm going to make a change in the midtones. Maybe bring that about right here in the highlights. And let's say I make a change here and bring this the, the whites a little bit bluer. That those tents in the background, um, and maybe the midtones. It's too blue. Let's go that way. Anyway. Just, I've made a few changes here and there. So now I wanna reset everything. I don't wanna go through all these different ones and hit each one of these separately right here. I want the whole thing to reset. Well, in speed grade, I just hit the number zero on the keypad and it would reset. Well, it's not resetting again. So that's an indication to me that they're just gonna to totally ignore speed grade and just let it die because that feature hasn't come over. So how do I do the whole thing besides going over to the effects tab? going over to um, you know, 
right here, Lumetri Color, and turning it on and off from here, or going to the editing timeline um, or tab, and then finding the the Lumetri Color and turning it off on in here. How do I do that? So if anybody knows, let me know. I appreciate it. Hopefully that other tip helps somebody, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.